Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In this tutorial, I will discuss how to run multiple regression analysis in SPSS. Especially, uh, my focus will be on using control variable along with multiple regression analysis. So if you have some control variable and along with that, you want to examine the, the impact of multiple factors multiple predictors on one of your DV, then this video will be very useful for you. If you want to run a simple regression analysis, you need to go through this analyze option, analyze, regression, and from here you just need to select linear. Normally, uh, if we are going to examine the impact of one variable on the other variable, still we use the same uh, option of linear regression. For example, if we have just one variable, like in this case, I'm considering turnover intention as a, my dependent variable, and I may consider one of variable as DV, IV. So in this case, my DV is uh, turnover intention, and my independent variable is organizational identification. So this is how you can proceed if you have just one variable, one predictor, and one dependent variable. But if you have multiple predictors and you want to run multiple regression, then of course you need to select all your IV over here. For example, in case we have three IVs, so I am selecting all of them, and here we will put our dependent variable. And in the statistics, you can see there are some other options, like if you are interested to see the R-square change, descriptives, collinearity diagnosis, which is used for, to, which is used for examining the uh, multicollinearity, and Durbin-Watson test. Of course, all these options you can use based on your requirements. If you are only interested to see the impact of one variable on the other variable, then default options are just okay. You can proceed with them. So after selecting all your IVs, you just need to click this option of OK. And here now you can see the results are. And in order to see the beta values, beta coefficient, so here you can see the impact of one variable. Like in this case, we have three IVs. In first case, the impact of OI its impact on turnover intention you can see the beta value is minus 0 0.150 and the p value is 0 0.004 which is quite less than 0 0.05 so this particular hypothesis is accepted and we can uh, conclude that there is a significant relationship or significant impact of oi on ti and the same the impact of OT on TI is also significant as the beta value is point, minus point 0.206 and it is also a significance level or the P value is quite less than 0 0.05 as it is 0 0.000. We can also assess the significance of our impacts by using the T value uh, which is supposed to be higher than plus 2 and should be less than minus 2 in order to be significant. So based on both, uh, you know, the T value and P value, both are showing that all on the impact of all these predictors on our DV is significant. But what if we have uh, some control variables, then how to use them in multiple regression? This is also very simple. Just go to analyze. Again, the regression, linear. And here where we put all of our IVs, we need to select our control variables as well. Like in this case, we have two control variables, factive commitment and job engagement. If you are putting these control variables after, after adding your IVs, or even if you want to put them, you know, first uh, put these control variables and after that you can enter your IVs. It makes no difference at all. You can uh, use any uh, method. I mean, select first the control variables and then IVs, 
or you can also you know first select your ivs and then you can enter your control variables and other options will remain same you just need to click ok and now we have updated uh, you know the coefficients and here you can see there is some there are some changes in the beta values it is because of the control variables so if you will have control variables now you will consider these beta values because now we have also entered the ac and job engagement and so so this is how you can uh, control these two variables and now and uh, the, these impacts the beta values are after controlling the variables are of effective commitment and job engagement so in your analysis now you, these results you will mention in your tables like the beta value is point minus point zero eight six then for ot is it's minus point one five seven and then for op it is minus one minus point one five three and we can see uh, after controlling in these two variables effective commitment and job engagement you can see the impact of oi on turnover, inten turnover intention become insignificant but in the previous case without controlling the variables it was significant but now after adding effective commitment and job engagement now the impact of OI on turnover, in, turnover intention is become insignificant and there are some also some minor changes in the beta values of uh, OT and uh, organizational pride so this is how you can um, you can enter your control variables while running multiple regression analysis in SPSS I hope this video will be helpful if you will have any further question you can write in the comments of this video and the final thing if you haven't subscribed my channel please remember to click the subscribe and bell icon thanks for watching